hey hello friends I'm going to show you how to connect Oracle 10G with Visual Studio 2012 so let's get started first you have to download ODAC for Visual Studio you can download so, uh, from this site you could download that download this guy so next you have to install that so I have already downloaded that and here is the installation part so you have to just select your language then next the next so you can choose your location uh, I am not changing this so next next and click this and then next to remain as it is the next it will take some time So now you have to install it. It will take some time. So guys, it is successfully finished. So I'm going to close this. And I'm going to create a uh, table in my database. So I'm logging. And as well, as well comments. Create table, table name. I'm going to <coughs> add some uh, data in my table. So insert join and add more data. I will show and turn. And and then so all from person. So here, here I am going to create a new project C sharp C sharp database connection okay to the button Call it show button. Show. I'm going to take a grid view. Data grid view. I'm going to show my already created person tables that I have in this grid view. Okay. So so I am going to add 
reference extension that this extension oracle manage data access okay and okay then using oracle manage data oracle dot manage data access dot clients I have to connect my database so going tools and then click connect to database so here you have to choose oracle database and here odp.net manage driver okay then you have to write your username and password uh, in my case my username is system and you have to choose your connection type and, and find your database username you have to go to your command pro command ls in our ctl status so host name as my host name copy and do the copy this and paste here and my port is 1521 so 1521 and service name is xe is default service xe okay then i'm going to test my connection so see okay succeed okay okay Okay. I have tables, relational tables. So we can resolve person table. And I have the column name and ID. Okay. Now we going to select our connection string uh, so you have to click here and here is the connection string address you have to copy this address and I have to type for connection string oracle connection oracle connection you have to paste your copy address here and you have to add your password here close parenthesis now we have to open the function so on dot open so now for data in it view ODA equal new or equal data vector and write a query select store from person and here is the connection okay so entity equal neutral level and body a to fill with this directory okay 
and on data grid view data grid view dot data source equal dt and on dot post hope this is going to work run this program show so here is our output thanks